What has been the most substantial difference between even two years ago and today in you know that digital marketing space that you're an expert at? We're finally seeing legislation with teeth. You know, the internet's been something of the wild, wild west for since the advent, and the benefit we've had up until this point is, and you know, for, I'm not trying to throw barbs, but it's nothing but a bunch of ger geriatric morons. If you look at our legislators, they don't understand the internet at all. What that means is for the longest time, they've been staying hands off. And recently, you know, when you see this in California with legislation there, GDPR in Europe, they're moving towards an attempt at putting boundaries, scaffolding, let's say, on the way that we interface with each other online. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I I'm for privacy, truly. And I think we've seen some some pretty significant negative impacts, the Cambridge Analytica scandal, a lot of the hacks that happened, personal information being exposed, et cetera. But the way that they're approaching this is flawed because the, 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 the manner in which they're attempting to legislate is near impossible to be compliant with. GDPR is a good example. It is technically impossible to be compliant with GDPR. If you read the way the laws are written, you can't actually execute on what they're asking. The European Union just declared Google Analytics is effectively illegal because of the way that it collects information, which is which is shocking. Now, what's really interesting is there's the en individual entities, companies that are, it's they're, they're playing statecraft. So we saw Apple roll out something called iOS 14, which was an update where they, in one fail swoop, destroyed Facebook's entire marketing model. It was brilliant. It was a master stroke. I think Apple's going to get into the ad game. And before they get into the ad game heavily, they just took out their second biggest competitor with one move, with one button. You now have to opt in for tracking. And the way that they ask for the opt-in too is brilliant. You know, they're like, hey, David, hey, Blaine, do you want Facebook to be able to see everything that you do? And you're like, of course I don't, no. <laughs> and, and, and up until this point, something to the tune of 85% of people have opted out of tracking. So Facebook used to be able to see what you did after you left Facebook. You click on an ad, you go to David's website, you read through a blog, check out a couple pages, and then you convert. Well, Facebook can see all of those things. Now, 85% of that data is gone. And with it, you, you we saw massive, just the, the, the annihilation of so many well-performing Facebook ad campaigns. And then you've got Google's Flock, which is Federated Learning of Cohorts, which they just killed and replaced with the Topics API. What's happening is these, these entities are realizing it does not behoove them to share data, visibility, access. And so you're seeing, it's like an arms race. It's like an arms race, but with trillion dollar corporations. And there's very distinct winners and losers. There's the reason that Facebook rebranded into Meta and is now pushing hardware so hard because they realize that as Facebook, they're a disembodied entity. You have to visit Facebook through a proxy, through a smartphone or a browser or a device. And if they don't own the device, they're always at the mercy of somebody else's pipe. So they're pushing Oculus. It's, it's also a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant move. They're pushing Oculus because they want to be able to own the origination of the view it's funny because Apple owns, and this, this is going to sound elitist, so everybody forgive me. They own the most valuable cohort, right? So like Android is the largest operating system on the planet, but Apple owns the buyers, the, the influentials, the people that actually move. So even though what Apple took away from Facebook was not the majority of the data, but it was the most important data set that anybody had. And it's why it, it, Facebook's entire algorithm changed. They used to have a 28-day click-through window that they had to drop down to seven. And now there's a three-day delay in their attribution. Three days in, in delay. And if that doesn't make sense to you, if you're listening, what that means is you have to wait three days to see the true mm -hmm. impact of your ads, which yeah. I used to be able to make minute-by-minute minute changes. And now, for the very first time since the advent of the internet, We've moved backwards in our ability to see the, the, the data collection, aggregation, utilization is it's being reversed. And what's going to happen, I think, and if I actually was ever right about anything, I'd be a much wealthier person. But if I were to attempt prognostication, what I would say is this is going to usurp the hierarchical structure. So right now you have people that have, have spent decades building themselves to the top and they've done that. They, they sit upon a mountain of data that's about to go away. So this is the opportunity to reset and it's yeah. going to happen through honestly this what you're doing now quality content it's going to happen through quality content community building because the industry leaders are about to lose the faucet that they've had for the last decade and all of the commoditization of traffic is about to get just reset overnight thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up that lets youtube know we actually know what we're doing we shoot a video every single day so if you want to be notified hit that subscribe button and if you have any input don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments we'd love to hear from you 
We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.